So I tried my UI 5.0 first time ever and I actually found this is far more better than a custom room. This is not a custom room to be honest. This is my UI uh, operating system and operating system which is available in Motorola devices. My UI 5.0 which is based on Android 13. Just a normal stuff as you can see regarding the introduction. But this is quite better than a custom room. Why so? I'll talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. After using my UI on my device Leoth which is Mi 11x a ported custom room is available for my device it's my UI which is having Motorola features Motorola goodies everything what you need from Motorola device for example the default launcher is Motorola launcher and if you want to install this Motorola launcher on your other devices you can get that very easily because I made a video on a magisk module through which you can install this Motorola launcher including the Motorola widget on my Hindi channel if you need that make sure to comment below I will provide you the link there or maybe i will provide you the link in the description for sure this is what we have if we take a look at the swipe access you will see the app vault kind of thing which is available in xiaomi devices also by the way things might be different if you use a stock my ui i mean if you use a motorola device things might be different in your case because i'm using a ported custom room but i just wanted to let you know some of my experiences about my ui after using this thing for a first time because i found a lot of great features which even not available in a custom room so this is quite interesting for example Motorola's widget is actually good by the way after using Motorola's widget for a lot of time also if you don't want to get this launcher only need widget the widget is also widget video is also there you can get that ported widget for your device very easily let me remove this thing uh, the, this adapt widget looks very good by the way but actually if I move on to the widget section and move on to the Moto widget options you will see a lot of widget option but this beyond widget looks damn cool if I try to place here as you can see this widget actually looks better than Google's default clock widget so yes thumbs up to Motorola and here are some of the things like personalization which mean customizations this is stock my UI this is not a modified my UI this is stock my UI stock customers stock OS which is present in Motorola devices and if you're able to notice we have a lot of options available for you for example some wallpapers which even include some live wallpapers maybe same kind of things like dynamic wallpapers which are available in Xiaomi devices already present but the thing is including this static wallpapers and live wallpapers we have some theming options by default available you can see a lot of theming options and these themes are not like xiaomi's themes where you can get the theme store this things these things might be present in your device too because i'm using my ui china version so things might be different in your case but mostly same also the quick settings panel is actually this is something very very interesting after using a lot of custom homes after using a lot of os's i think so this control center this quick settings panel is actually one of the best according to me just according to me i found this control center is far more better than some other custom rooms or maybe some other custom skins mi ui one ui oxygen os or whatever you're using even though color was 13 oxygen color was 13 or maybe oxygen was 13's control center or the quick settings panel Panel is not so bad but this is actually quite better if you take a look at the icon packs you also have the option to use the motos adaptive icon packs or icon packs options and it also includes device shield options which is basically miui security app which includes memory phone storage privacy options etc actually there are a lot of similarities between xiaomi and my ui as i'm using a china version so things are actually similar but this includes a lot of features because it's actually looking stock room which is actually looking stock ui giving you stock ui with all these features so this feels very good although performance was super good of course i'm not using motorola device but after using some custom oems on my device like color os and else i found this is quite good quite stable also very good in the terms of performance it also allows you to use this auto start option network and internet it's same here notifications it has the anti-spam option the dialer is also super good you can even get the dialer on your device the video on that option is also present and one of the best thing about this is app cloning this is very interesting because even xiaomi doesn't allow you to create more than one clone for that single app and here you can clone up to five apps 
I mean, if you're using Instagram, if you want to clone Instagram, you can get five cloned apps for that particular app. This is very, very good. And these are the options which are not available in any custom skin. As far as I know, I haven't used One UI, but Color OS, OnePlus OS, and Realme UI, Stock Google, or even Mi UI doesn't allow you to clone more than one app for a single app. So this is very, very interesting. And I found this is a very interesting feature available in my UI. It also includes app lock feature and yes app lock of course available in some custom oem skins already in xiaomi the app lock is not so bad because when you enable app lock sometimes you will see the performance might be decreased yes i even used mi 11x which is having snapdragon 870 i'm still saying that so yes keep this thing in mind this app lock is super good three finger screenshot is a bit of a disappointment because you need to hold three fingers to take screenshot but else this is very interesting skin recording options as expectedly are same no major customization options available for you to record screen but of course we have third party apps available where you can record screen very easily even 90 hertz or 120 hertz at the refresh rate if i move on to the gesture navigation options by default i don't think so google pixel allows you to hide the navigation bar but here you have the option to hide the navigation bar or show the navigation bar it's totally up to you three finger screenshot and other gestures are as expectedly available we also have the option to customize the power buttons double press you can customize actions for that for example if you double tap the power button any action you want to launch any app you want to launch it's totally up to you so in the terms of customizations there are a lot in the terms of features there are a lot and for kind of information i'm not using a custom room so that's insane if you talk about the charging boost option of course these things are of course device specific even if if your device supports that or as i'm using a ported room so not going to talk about that but features are quite good optimized charging feature which is present in iphone by default i think so in iphone i got this feature so yes this is what we have overcharge protection option is also present in motorola device and uh, same like that second space option which is available in xiaomi this also has a private space option which is almost same so if i try to enter here because i've already enabled this option you can see same kind of different, different things where you can allow some apps from the main options main space to private space almost same options are present almost same things basically in xiaomi you have the option named as second space in this you have the option named as private space almost same kind of options there might be some of the differences here and there i will try to make a comparison video side by side comparison video with xiaomi and my ui we'll see that mi ui or my ui which is better i think so most of you already know which is quite better but i think so i will make a comparison video ram boost option is there quick app launch and storage cleanup some of the options which you need are already present and uh, i think so my ui is far more better than custom home just my opinion i just wanted to share with you my opinions about my ui i tried this my ui custom home first time ever even i tried my ui for first time ever in my device and i was quite satisfied that's why i'm making this video and if you're a user of me 11x and one install and one experience this thing on a device i will provide the link in the description although these were the things i just want to let you know i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like and share this video also if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel i will see you next one goodbye